Okay, so now this is SOA sample question number three. Now we have here that Eric deposits 100 into a savings account times zero, okay, which pays interest at an annual nominal rate of I compounded semi-annually. And that at Mike's scenario, he um, deposited 200, which pays simple interest at an annual rate of I. All right. So Eric and Mike earned the same amount of interest during the last six months of the eighth year. So if we think about it, they're going to be eight years, and they earn the same amount of interest at the last six months of the year. Well, we need to calculate I. So if they're earning the same amount of interest during the last six months of the year, we could first start off with Eric. So he has 100, one plus I over two, and from this scenario, 7.5 years have already occurred, right? So we'll do 7.5 times 2, which is 15. But what about this extra uh, clump over here, right? Well, it's not an annual nominal rate of I anymore. It's only uh, pertaining to half a year occurring in this time interval that shaded here. So that is why on top of the compounding that's already occurred in this scenario, to compensate for this time interval in Eric's case, we're going to have to multiply by I over 2. Then we set this whole equation to equal to Mike's scenario of 200. And since Mike's scenario is pertaining to simple interest, we simply just compensate for this time interval by multiplying it by I over two. because uh, his simple interest is at an annual rate of I as well. And since we're only pertaining to only half a year, we're just gonna multiply it by the simple interest of I over two. And that's what this problem does, it kind of just tests you on the concept of simple interest and what would happen or what would we have to do if we wanted to only compensate or account for this stretch of time to figure out uh, this amount of interest, right? So since it's just simple interest, we just uh, multiply 200 by I over two to denote this piece of the timeline. So now we have this equation here so we are able to simplify and solve. So we could cross out the I over twos. We could bring 100 to the other side. This becomes two. We have to bring one over 15 to the other side. So we do that by two to the one over 15, which is 1.047294123 minus one times two. Then we find out that I equals 0 0.09458, which is basically 9.458%. Well, if we look at the answer choices here, we know it's nowhere near this one, nowhere near this one, nowhere near this one. This answer is pretty much rounded up to C.